Welcome, Leo, to your April love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot, and feel free to subscribe. So we do nothing but love readings here. Uh, we are going to start off using the AF Tarot deck, AF Tarot deck, uh, to pull some energies and then do some tarot. At the end of the reading, we are going to use the love oracles to see what this person has to say to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it, and I will clarify. So first, we're going to go ahead and pull the soul cards tarot to get the main spread and see what's coming in. All right, and just let you know your cards have already been shuffled. So we do have a message coming into your energy. Ooh, someone's definitely wanting to message you. Page of Pentacles, lots of messaging, a lot of change. All right, Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Five of Wands, Judgment, the Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Moon. Okay. Someone is definitely into you here, okay? Um, it looks like they are pretty single. This is not someone who's in a relationship. Um, there could be a separation or some disconnect at this time. As this person may be having other things going on. So if it's been a couple days and you haven't heard from this person, I definitely feel like they are coming in. So <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel like you heard from them yet. Hmm. Okay, so there is type of, some type of separation disconnect, maybe with the uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Wands in Justice. Um, I do see that this person may be in their head or somebody's in their head here and wanting to come towards you, but they could be fighting with themselves here. Okay, there is some type of conflict or argument and someone is very disappointed how things are playing out right now. And I feel like there is this person's do wanting change could be juggling their emotions or feeling like they're in and out and not really solid with what they want here. And the five of cups is more stating that there is a feeling of disappointment, but in the outcome it's showing the 10 of pentacles. So in the mutual energy, there's a want of stability uh, in the challenge. There is a disconnect. Maybe taking a step back, maybe feeling like this person is either like wanting you, like maybe you're not trusting this person for some reason, because it does feel like some type of suspicion when communicating. Let's see, what is this Nine of Pentacles? Whoa. They're not putting any effort right now. Page of Wands recovering and moving on four of swords huh so no one's putting in the effort here but there's a want to there was a want for renewal unsure Two of Wands I mean two of yeah somebody's wanting to come in and collaborate with you they're wanting to come in um, and do and give you what you want. Leo. Five of Cups. There's something here about truth or some type of breakthrough and clarity when it comes to long-term commitment. Uh, this is all about self-reflection and the hangman is all about surrendering or, you know, a change of perspective here when it comes to this conversation. So there is a pause and more of a reflection when coming out into this outcome. What is this outcome though? The six of swords. You could be moving away from a relationship at this time or maybe a connection or someone that you're talking to. And I feel like you are healing from something here, but somebody is definitely wanting to put in the effort with you, or there could be a decision if you're wanting to put in the effort or not. Two of Wands. Yeah. Avoiding conflict, separation, feeling burnt out. What is going on, you guys? There, there's a ch Somebody wants to work this out. They do. 
There may be no contact at this time as the Two of Swords is saying that there's something that's being avoided, not addressed here, and there's no communication. There's a, need, a want for communication that is hidden here. Somebody wants to collaborate and talk. Um, the Ten of Wands are feeling a really heavy burden and they're not really sure what to do here. They do want to rush in or they could have rushed in because they're wanting a second chance. But there could be some conflict or some challenges here. Uh, maybe that is causing um, a separation at this time. Let's see what this person has to say. This is getting straight to the point here because... Yeah, they want to reach out to you. I'm planning on reaching out to you. I'm going to have to clarify more because this energy, our story isn't over. Yeah, someone does not want to let you go. I feel like it's just like a disharmony right now, like something's going on. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things that are going on in my life. I wish I can, I wish I could take it back. So maybe there was words that were exchanged or something that this person said or did and now they're wanting a second chance and I feel like you're kind of you know taking your time in a bit okay some of you guys I don't I feel like you're healing or feeling heartbroken or betrayed or maybe seeing somebody's true colors here but this energy does want to work out and wants your forgiveness um they do want to move past this okay from the looks of it they don't want to argue I don't feel and they wish they could take back their words or whatever they did. Um, see, if this is a third party situation, I can see why this could feel like a betrayal and the Three of Swords is here twice, right? And it could be really hard to trust this person. But this is more of an argument or a disagreement or something here to where uh, I feel like this person is willing to compromise and really wanting to come through. So there is some truthful conversation that can lead to either make it or break it. Okay, because it does seem like this person wants to come in and they really regret a lot of how they treated you in this way. Um, let's get the message of love. Here and now, your true love is a part, is, uh, your true love is already a part of your life. So maybe just like a break here for a little bit, like or some, yeah. Healing, old wounds and childhood issues are needs revisiting. So there's definitely some healing here too many look at second chance well this relationship deserves a second chance okay let's see let's get one more for you guys patience everything will unfold in divine timing this friendship is leading into more so maybe there was like a rocky foundation or something here um for some of you guys but either way it feels like this person really looks at you as they're their person you know so there's some clarity or truthful conversation the you know someone's feeling really sad and wanting to uh, connect and there's like a change of perspective somebody's wanting change and not sure how to go about it either so wow let's go ahead and grab the lovers of oracles very straight to the point reading um see we have justice so someone is trying to do the right thing here too and again, justice is all about um, choices and weighing out the options and balancing out everything, right? Putting everything in perspective and trying to uncover a deeper understanding of you or the situation. But for whatever reason, um, this is a very difficult decision here. And I feel like it just needs time and some truthful conversation. Because from the looks of it and from what the cards are saying is that this person does not want your story to be over. Um, and again, the justice is about being fair, though, right? And having morals and self-respect. And I feel like this person views you as someone not to mess with. Um, and they could be viewing you as like, I messed up, okay? Like, you're not like the rest, in a way. Uh, but I do feel like you are on the right path, regardless of what you're doing at this time. I feel like it's a time to be still and try to uh, like evaluate the situation and kind of do your thing here. Um, and to try not to blame yourself for any challenges that come your way because this feels like this person is really feeling bad for whatever they did. And then we do have Only Time Will Tell and Romantic uh, Cupid Arrow Strikes. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it here for you, Leo. It does feel <laughs> like this person is, you know, really likes you, really cares. Maybe there's love here, maybe depending on this is a relationship, family dynamic. Uh, remember to take what resonates, but it does feel like there is a want to do the right thing and come towards you. 
okay? I try to do the right thing and have an honest communication with you. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.